Yo, what's going on guys? DBZ Mando signing on here and welcome to a, apparently there was an announcement trailer for a new Star Wars game as you can see by the title right there. So this is going to be a little bit of a uh, reaction and a breakdown to what this uh, has in store for us. So yeah, uh, let's see, let's check this out. Uh, yeah, let's watch it. Oh man. Yo, this is gonna be sick. What oh, was that a Wookiee in the back? Is it Jedi? Alright! So, I'm gonna pause it right there. Star Wars Hunters coming 2021. Yes, so we are already are getting a new Star Wars game. Not by EA, but already by, a, by apparently... Zanya, Zanya. Uh, I'm not too familiar with them, but hopefully this all gets go. All this, uh, this does good, you know. Anyway, um, so yes, we are getting a new Star Wars game later this year. So there's no release date. All we know is just that it's coming this year for the Nintendo Switch. So obviously, I'm going to be doing covering that game when it comes out. But anyway, uh, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of a synopsis over this. What I do know is that it is a squad-based, um. Uh, what a squad based game uh, squad based team strategy game or whatever so you make a team and it's a squad and you're battling everybody anyway okay okay so let's head back into it real quick so already at the get-go it looks like we're heading into I I see this and I'm getting Tatooine vibes like the Jabba's Palace Tatooine vibes um, or like almost like I don't know if you ever watched the last Jedi like Fallen Order last Jedi uh, not last Jedi Fallen Order Jedi Fallen Order, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, it reminds me of that Coliseum scene whenever you're fighting uh, the boss. Oh my God! When uh, oh, fuck, what's his name? Uh, well, what's his name? Your your partner gets you know gets you trapped there because he owes a debt. But anyway, yeah, this is what this reminds me of. That or Jabba's Palace with the side door thing. Anyway, let's head back into it. So already here we got a synth. So seeing this, I I mean this could obviously be multiple things, but I see the synth and I'm thinking Old Republic. You know, before the Jedi, just because there's like this Sith look. But I mean, it could be during the Republic. It could it could be, but it could be like you know before the Republic, before the Star Wars uh, uh, prequels. So yeah, we got a Sith Lord, but then we got a Stormtrooper and we got Mandalorian. So. I'm already hyped because, you know, Mandalorians, I mean, that's what I, that's what my channel icon is literally of, and I am the biggest stand for, so I will always take Mandalorians in this game, the Stormtroopers, so I mean, it's probably going to be mixed, it's going to be everybody from everywhere, so Old Republic, uh, the original trilogy, wherever this Mandalorian's from, whether it be old, new, or original, we got a Wookiee Warrior, which is pretty awesome, uh, so yeah, that's gonna be sick. As you can see, we still got all this. Uh, you know, we're still in this Hall of Fame or whatever. I'm guessing these holograms are either where you can see your uh, heroes from. Like maybe it's a prelude to like this is how you can see your team, or maybe that's a squad of people you're with. I don't know. It could be. It's literally up in the air of what those what these could be. Or maybe I'm just maybe I'm just thinking a little bit too much into it. Uh, but yes, that's, I mean, it could be your squad that you're with, or it could be the characters you want to choose. I don't know. I also, I could be looking too much into it, but as we go farther in, as you can see, the doors begin to open, the doors open here, and there's, you know, there's just a brawl going on. Let me just go ahead and, uh, mute the volume real quick. Yep. And, uh, oh yeah, also, uh, let me go here, and back up, back up, back up. And as you can see, you can see a Jedi's lightsaber has more, uh, a lightsaber deflecting bla blaster bolts as, you know, they're getting shot all above. Anyway, yep, Star Wars Hunters. What do you want? Lucasfilm Games. So, I guess it's supposed to... Mm. Lucasfilm Games, isn't that... That name sounds familiar. But, I'm thinking that's what it was called in the past, no? Hmm. I'm not too sure yet. But, uh, anyways, guys, that's basically, you know, okay, so what does this mean? So... Essentially, this is this was pretty fast. I was not honestly when EA lost their exclusivity rights to Star Wars games. I did. I knew we were gonna get a new one. I mean, look at that. Ubisoft announced a like an open world Star Wars game or whatever. 
but I was, you know, that was probably going to come to 23. When Star Wars, literally when this game was announced, I was not expecting this. I don't think any of us were. I don't think any of us were expecting a new Star Wars game from a, from a different company aside from EA this year. I think we were expecting that, you know, Star Wars game, a new Star Wars game, obviously from EA. But I don't think, or maybe some of us were. I don't know. But I know, I know, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting a new Star Wars game from a different company this soon. I was probably expecting it for next year. That would make more sense, but already we're getting something, you know, this year. As for when it will come out this year, we don't know. We just know we just know it's coming this year. So I'll try and cover some news. Any news that comes out on it, I'll try and cover it on the channel. We will see what uh you know what what's in store for us because this honestly looks pretty cool. I mean, I had some speculation it might be a battle royale sort of thing because it's like a team based all out brawl. It looks like. From from what from when you what you see in this Coliseum, right? You see all these people just fighting in here. When you when you when it opens, you just see all these people fighting in here, and then you got these holograms of these other dudes of like these icon dudes that you would see getting ready to brawl. So I'm assuming it either it's not gonna be a it's a battle royale or like I don't know something uh, a PvP based thing. I mean, I'm not I'm not too sure. I I don't want to say battle royale like you know like like Fortnite or whatever, but it's more like a Coliseum Rumble Royale, almost, where you're just battling other people for glory or whatever. But this looks like a very good game. I'm honestly very excited for this. It's going to be awesome. I, we haven't, you know, it's, it's very, I'm very curious because all the games we've gotten were from EA. So it's I'm very curious to see what other companies are coming, you know, have in store for us. And obviously right here, this is an example of one company already getting ready to, they lo it looks like as soon as EA lost their exclusivity rights, this company hopped right on it. Got right to the punch. Uh, so yeah, so well, anyways, we will see what happens. I will cover any, if there's any other news coming out soon, I will try and cover it. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to be up to this video. It's a little breakdown, little reaction as well. But we shall see exactly what is in store for us for this game. And hopefully, uh, uh, you know, prayers and hopes, this game is... Uh, it's pretty good. You know, hopefully it's not a big light down, but you know, who's to see? We ought to give it a chance. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to blast that like button as you subscribe. Hit the bell notification when I uh, upload videos, and I will see you next one. DBC Mano, signing out.